We're at Sun River Gardens. It's such a pretty place. We've got Christmas trees. We'll take a tour of the inside. Should we get some paper whites? This is a paper white. Look how Christmassy. I'm gonna get these ones because I think they're not gonna get as tall. Sun River Gardens. I used to work here. I was an inventory and receiving manager for um, just over three years and I was working up until the day before I went into labor with this one. I came two weeks early, two and a half weeks early. And it's a really magical place. It's a garden center and gift shop and they we do Christmas like nobody's business very magical place. What isn't so magical is unpacking every one of those ornaments, inventorying it, and getting a price tag on it. That is a lot of work. That usually starts in July. We start getting Christmas in July. I say we. I don't work here anymore, but I know things. But yeah, isn't it pretty? I'm out and about driving, but I just wanted to stop real quick and show you how pretty these mountains are in the snow. So this is Rock Canyon. I used to come up here all the time and go rock climbing. In fact, I don't know if you can see, I don't know if I can see, but this there's a slab right there with a big crack in it that I used to climb all the time. Right there, and then there's a redish one down here called uh, Red Face. I used to climb that all the time, but aren't these mountains beautiful in the snow? Back in my days when I was single, I used to go climbing all the time. Um, I haven't done it in a long time because I just, I don't have the equipment. I always went with someone else who had all of the equipment. I have my own harness and shoes, but I don't have a rope or anything and that's kind of expensive and me and my husband always talk about coming and doing it. We just haven't, so anyway. And look, so fun fact, we live on a fault line, so I don't know if you could see where this fence just suddenly plummets downwards. Yeah, that's where there was an earthquake like 30 years ago or something like that. And the whole thing just sh dropped and shifted. So, fun fact, living on a fault line, it's a little bit scary right here on the mountainside. Here comes some dander halls. One of the 
companies, my husband works for um, a company that is owned by a larger company that makes those Vanderhalls, those three-wheeled cars. So he works very close to them and we're going to visit him at work right now. Here they are up close. It looks really cold out. It's because it is. Google tells me it's 31 degrees. My car said it was 24 degrees. It feels more like 24 degrees. But uh, Google says 31. Anyway. So I wanted to do a quick update on the husband sweater. I, um, I worked the ribbing and I was afraid it was going to be too small again just because it was so bunched up on the needles. I was like, oh gosh, this isn't going to fit him. So I put it on some scrap yarn. Well, it wasn't scrap yarn. I actually put it on dental floss. Because <laughs> that's what I keep in my little notions pouch. My little knitting kitty, knitting kitten pouch. Um, but I had, so I put it on the scrap yarn. I had it, I put it around his waist to see how it fit or around his hips, I guess. Um, and it, it, it fit, which I was really glad. I was really glad. So now I can move forward and I've just barely started the stockinette portion. Since this is just a stockinette sweater, I should be chugging away on this now. People tend to love or hate miles of stockinette in the round. I kind of love it because no distractions. I mean, I love kind of intricate cables and things like that, but I know I keep mentioning my girls, but <laughs> when they're around, I'm constantly interrupted, just constantly. And so just the miles of stockinette is so nice because I can literally pick it up and just like do seven stitches before there's a baby screaming or, you know, some sort of crisis I have to t attend to. So I really actually like just plain stocking it in the round. So I'm hoping this sweater will go quickly and I might get it done by Christmas. So here's hoping. Uh, wish me luck. Okay. Good night. Bye.